Welcome to the sound design episode of the MIDI mod demonstration videos. I am not a sound designer, so I'm not even going to try. Let's try to recreate a sound design by a professional sound designer. Uh, those of you on YouTube might know of Geosynths. Um, this is a bank that I got from him just on his Patreon. You sign up and then you get a free bank of DeepMind patches. So that's what I've got going on here. Uh, you can see it's called Broken Lead Geo. And we're going to tr try to recreate this sound on the System 8 with the assistance of MIDI Mod. Here's the sound on the DeepMind. Now really the trick with the patch on the deep mind is there's all kinds of modulation going on with aftertouch. We've got aftertouch modulating the filter frequency and also the pitch mod depth. And in addition, LFO1 modulates unison detune. So it's kind of just really moving things all over the place, especially when you apply pressure. with a healthy amount of effects. Now we don't have aftertouch on the System 8, but maybe we could use something else. You could use an expression pedal, or maybe you could use pitch bend. Why don't we try that? Now I do have the patch here ready to go, but we're gonna blow it away and start from scratch. All right. So right now I have the basic patch on the System 8, tonally speaking that is. Here it is on the DeepMind. And here it is on the System 8. So they're pretty close. I've had a little bit of a problem trying to get the System 8 thinned out and I'm not sure what's going on. I think maybe there's some compensation in the filter so that the bottom end doesn't fall out when you have the resonance up, but I'm not sure. You can tell that the deep mind is quite a bit thinner on the top end. Now to make this a little bit easier, I've brought up a screenshot of the deep mind 12 editor. And this allows us to see all the parameters quite easily. Now I've done my best to try to match these on the System 8. Of course, everything is a little bit different. And the effects especially, it's just going to be pretty impossible to match. The key to this is going to be the mod matrix. We can see here that LFO1 is mapped to unison detune. Aftertouch is mapped to frequency, filter frequency, and aftertouch is also mapped to oscillator 1 pitch mod depth, and then the mod wheel is mapped to, um, it's mapped to reverb pre-delay, which is actually not very easy to hear in this particular patch, uh, so we're actually going to map that to something else. LFO2 by default on the deep mind is mapped to the filter frequency. So we'll have to deal with that too. Now what I've decided to do on the system 8 is use the built-in LFO to modulate the filter. So if I just press and hold a note, eventually you'll hear that modulation. If I play the same thing on the deep mind. So you can hear the, a similar amount of modulation on the filter coming from the LFO. Now, what else do we need to do? So the deep mind is using an LFO to modulate unison detune, and I haven't found a way to 
modulate or do any sort of detuning. Now I should point out that I'm using the JX3P plug out because I think that tonally it is very very similar to the DeepMind. There's just not as many options with waveforms and detuning and all that stuff. So what can we do? Well maybe we could modulate the fine tuning of oscillator 2 with an LFO from MIDI mod. So let's set that up. In the LFO section, we'll go to System 8 and find Oscillator 2 Fine Tune right there. And let's turn on the LFO and just hear what it sounds like. Maybe turn the rate up a little. So it's pretty clear you can hear the, the movement going on in Oscillator 2. Now with that out of the way, it's time to start mapping the performance aspects. So uh, this is going to be our substitute for aftertouch on the DeepMind. So we'll start with pitch bend. Now on the deep mind, after touch is modulating filter cutoff and oscillator one pitch depth. So let's do the same thing. We'll go into the mod matrix. And for the source, we will select pitch bend. And then the destination is going to be Filter frequency, cut off. Before I go any further, I'm going to go into the settings and set up a favorite for the System 8 because having to dive through the menus continuously is a little bit um, tedious. All right, now I've got that set up. So once again, I'll select Pitch Bend. Now System 8's right at the top. And I will choose this time the amount that LFO 1 from the System 8 is having on the pitch. So this is going to start to give us a little bit of pitch mod. LFO pitch. And let's hear what that sounds like. I'm going to use the bender. Right, that's a little bit out of control, so let's rein that in. To do that, we'll set the ranges. I'll set the range of the uh, cutoff modulation to be 0 to 75. And then for the pitch mod, I'm going to give it quite a narrow range. Going from 40 to about 85, 86, somewhere in there. Oh, let's see what we got. Much better. All right, now I think the last thing I wanna do with pitch bend is, how about speeding up the rate of the LFO? Let's try that. So we'll go to LFO rate. And I don't want it to go like all crazy with um, into audio rates. So once again, we're going to select a pretty limited range. Uh, 10, 11, and 45 about. Now we're getting closer to what the deep mind does on aftertouch. Here's the deep mind again. And now here's where we're at with the system 8. So now they're a lot closer. Now, to get even more movement, I think what I'll do is 
map LFO2 to pitch envelope on the system 8. Go LFO2, system 8. Pitch ENV. And if I don't set the range here, it is going to go a little bit crazy. Turn on the LFO. Yep, <laughs> we got to restrict that. So let's put the bottom number right in the middle at 63. Uh, and go about right around 80 and try that again. And then if we use that in conjunction with the pitch bend lever, we have this. We got multiple things modulating pitch, which is cool. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do with regard to that is set up a way to control the LFO depth so it's not always full bore on the pitch mod. So we'll do some internal modulation here. We'll route the mod wheel to LFO to depth. LFO to depth. So now there won't be any modulation on LFO2 until we um, engage the mod wheel. Cool. And the last thing we're going to do with the mod wheel is maybe mess around with the effects. So, mod wheel, system 8, and how about we go with reverb time. Reverb, 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 reverb time. All right. Nice. All right, now we've got something that's actually fairly close to what we've got on the DeepMind 12. Once again, here's the DeepMind 12. Now I'm going to apply the aftertouch. And here's what we've got on the System 8. Not bad. And of course there's other stuff we could do uh, maybe we could play around with some other effects. So maybe bring in a little bit of distortion on the System 8 uh, and have the mod wheel modulate the depth, effects depth. Let's try that out. way too intense so all we have to do is drop the range down maybe something like that it provides it just a little extra modulation So you could do that. Maybe you could uh, play around with modulating some of the other effects parameters. It's totally up to you. Um, hopefully this gives you a good idea of how you can use MIDI mod from a sound design perspective. Thanks so much for watching.